This may be one of the shortest 10 with Toms ever. Not much more than two with Tom this week. In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus says in Matthew 6, 1 through 4, Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets to be honored by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. We are to give generously, but to keep it to ourselves. It's nobody's business but ours and God's. And if we make it somebody's business, we immediately have our reward and forfeit the opportunity to receive something greater when we arrive in heaven. Hebrews 6.10 tells us that we will receive from God because God is not unjust. He will not forget our work and the love that we have shown him as we've helped his people and continue to help them. So give gladly. Others may not notice your generosity or they may quickly forget it. But God won't, and he will reward you for it. The next time that you're sitting in church, realize that there are faithful people all around you who have given and given again without ever letting it be known. You may even be one of them. Every Sunday, you rub shoulders with some of the greatest givers of our day, people who give in the spirit of Colossians 3, 23 and 24. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ that you are serving. Great givers keep it to themselves, and they wait for God's promised reward. Others may never know, but God will never forget. So just do it, and don't shout about it. Have a great week, and I hope you will join me again on Friday as we look at another thought from the Word for you today. Make it a great day.